All right, let me just check the sound on this, just to make sure that it's working. So let me pull up my stream on my phone. Hopefully my AirPods don't connect to this. All right, here we go. Okay, perfect. Okay, so the sound is working. Just want to make sure because my AirPods were not working on my last stream. Just want to make sure you guys can hear me. If at any time you guys can't hear me, just let me know. But I am going to take off this little sweater because I'm getting a bit hot in this bathroom already. But we're going to try it with the border and see. I am like quite far away from my camera, so... We'll also see how that turns out, but hopefully my makeup brushes are dry enough from last night. I'm going to try to use them, so we'll see how this goes. I am going to try to use up the last of my Hourglass Veil Primer here. It is supposed to pump out, but I am down to, like, the last bits of this primer, and this primer was, like, pretty expensive, so I've just been kind of scooping out what's left of it onto a beauty blender because I think this thing was like 40 or 50 bucks so it's not cheap also I think it comes in like like a glass container so that's why but I have a couple other things that I'm hyped to try in terms of primers after this that are hopefully just as good and a little bit easier on the budget because a good bit of my makeup routine was like built when I was working at a makeup store. So I had a pretty good discount. I think I got like a 25% discount and now I'm paying full price for everything and I'm obviously not getting anything sponsored. So now I have to pay for all my makeup myself and pay full price for it. So I'm like, hmm, maybe I need some more budget friendly options. <laughs> I am going to put my hair oil in my hair because my hair is looking kind of gross because I'm going to wash it tonight, but I'm just trying to extend the days for my hair just because my hair is dyed quite a bit. This is my natural hair color and it's the color I dyed it to, so it's a little bit crisp, so I'm not supposed to wash my hair every day because otherwise it like takes out the color faster and it just is more damaging to my already damaged hair. I also want to make sure that my dry shampoo is, like, out of my hair because I definitely still see it in there, but we're working with it. All right. Primer and hair oil is done. I'm now going to go in. Hopefully, I almost don't want to use this beauty blender because I worked so hard to clean it last night, but we're going to do it. I'm going to get a little bit wet, but this will actually be perfect if this one isn't completely dry because... I do need it a bit moist here. I'm going to go in with my Uoma Beauty Foundation and just kind of pat this onto my face. Kind of mostly focus on like my T-zone where I get like the most oily here. But I'm just going to try to keep it relatively simple today. I think I might try to use like the more like purpley pinkish makeup palette that I bought earlier this week and then I forgot my eyeshadow primer. I might try to do like a color or two from there and just see, cause I am gonna wear blue today. Oh no, there's like a little string. Okay, I guess I got my shirt a little bit wet. I'm like, what is all this? But I right, am gonna be wearing blue today, so. Maybe the purple would go with it and purplish pinks. I normally do more like browns and neutrals, but we'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling in like 15 minutes of what I want to do. All right. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty blended. Just blending it down onto my neck a little bit just so that it looks nicely blended because you don't want people to say like oh nice foundation because they can see it so <laughs> not that anyone would ever I think say that to me but 
Just got to make sure it's all nicely blended. I am just going back in with a little bit more product under my eyes. And I do want to make sure I cover up my, my acne here as well. R.I.P. <laughs> All right, that's looking pretty good, pretty blended. Feeling good about that. And now I'm going to go in with my powders. So this is either gonna turn out fine or it's gonna turn out quite bad because <laughs> my brushes aren't dry, but we'll see. I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier powder here. This is an example of a product that I'm gonna try to replace with like a less expensive product because this is, I think like 39 or like, $35 for this thing. So I definitely think there's budget products that could do the job as well, especially because I've watched videos where people put like a lot of this powder on their face and it actually makes their makeup stay, but I have very expensive powder. So I don't try to put like too much all over my face because it gets expensive out here. But most of my makeup, I feel like I kind of have it lined up almost with like school semesters because I just got out of college. So I'd have it so that I would start like new products like at the start of the semester and then I would like kind of run out at the end of the semester. So my products all kind of last about like five to six months, which is good because I only have to like rebuy like a lot of my makeup like twice a year usually. Um, but the problem is doing that, like a lot of my makeup runs out at the same time. So all of a sudden it's like a huge expense to like replace a lot of my makeup. So I do think I'm gonna try to get some more budget friendly products. Especially because I don't know where all of you are from, but in California gas is like almost $7, which is insane to me like I used to think it was expensive to pay like three dollars a gallon like and now I wish it was like three dollars a gallon like I don't know back in the day I used to get like 40 bucks cash back and it would basically fill up my tank and now like I like have to stop the gas pump once it hits like 85 dollars I'm like I can't I can't do this but feeling good feeling nice and powdered here oh my god I almost just dropped all of this okay I'm going to take out my lash curler because I always forget to curl my lashes. <laughs> I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Infallible Powder. This can be used as a foundation as well, but I just kind of use it as like an additional powder. I almost don't want to use these brushes because they're so clean. I work so hard to clean these, but makeup brushes have to be cleaned like once a week is what I heard. So I don't know. I guess I need to get in a better habit of cleaning these. Uh, we're working on it. So I'm just putting this all over my face. But you can already tell the brush is already covered in product. So sad. But I'm really one of those people, it's more of like, things that I buy are meant to be used. Like I'll literally buy like limited edition sneakers and like wear them out. And like, people are like, wait, why are you wearing those? I was like, cause like things are meant to be used. Hello. I don't know how to say your username. Zephos, haven't been in your streams the longest. How's your channel going for you? I think it's been going well. I feel like, for me, I try to do, like, a lot of different content, but really, like, for me, like, I love doing my makeup, and I do it every day, so, like, for me, I feel like that's kind of one of the biggest things that I stream, and it seems to be working out well for me so far. This powder can also be used with, it does come with, like, a little, like, mirror and, like, a little, like, puff also, so great to take on the go for touch-ups, but I just do most of my makeup with a brush. Because, I don't know, that's just me. So now I'm going to go in here with my NARS bronzer here. Oh, all these brushes are so clean right now. I, like, don't want to use them. But I'm going to go in here with my bronzer. And this brush, I feel like I actually put it back together relatively well. Like, it's not all, like, 
crazy sand out like it used to be. Um, Arkin. Oh, that looks like the username was. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> You used to say my name correct, but since I haven't been in here anymore, I guess you don't remember me. Um, I do have my whispers blocked. People were whispering me a lot of really inappropriate things. I am just bronzing, like, under my cheeks here just to give my face some, like, dimension. And bronzing my forehead a little bit, especially because my hair is tied up. I do want to make sure my forehead's looking nice as I'm, like, pulling all my baby hairs <laughs> onto my face. And I'm just going to bronze under my chin a little bit here. I guess since it is a Saturday and I have a little bit more time... I'll do like a little bit more cleanup than I normally do with my makeup routine. Um, oh gosh, let's look to hear. That was the only way I could give you feedback on things. Feel free to give me feedback in the comments um, as well. I am going to go in with my little NARS blush here. This is the one brush I was a little bit worried was not going to be dry, but let's see how this goes. Just smile, put this. So like on the apples of my cheeks and just trying to make sure it's blended into my bronzer and just sweep this back towards my cheekbones here. I have an interesting fun fact maybe you all haven't noticed about me is I only have one dimple. I only have one on this side. I have like there's like you could tell like I used to have one here but I really only have one on this side so Kind of interesting, but I am trying to blend this in with my bronzer. This color is not showing up very much. That's okay. I'm also like super far from my mirror, so honestly, this might look kind of crazy. Oh no, we're giving me secret compliments. Um, <laughs> yeah, please feel free to throw anything in the chat here. I'm gonna go in with my Offer a highlighter that I've used so much. There's like a little patch missing, but I'm just going to go and hit the high points of my cheeks here. Try not to get too much of my, my eye bags in here. I feel like I almost need to go back in with my bronzer. I feel like that got lost a little bit, but, but a little bit highlighter on my nose. Get on there. Okay. Looks pretty good. I am going to go back with my bronzer brush and just kind of retouch that up a bit and just make sure it is blended with my blush a little bit better here. And then I am going to go in and clean it up. A little bit, I don't normally do this, but I've got a little bit of time since it's the weekend. So I'm going to go back in with my Laura Mercier powder. And you could do this with like really anything, but just going back underneath like where I bronzed and blushed. And then just kind of like sharpen up this line. I am going in with like this little mini beauty blender here. And then I'll wipe this off in a sec. But just kind of letting that bake a little bit. Um, yeah, feel free to say it. I did I did do a workout slash yoga video this morning. So trying to just trying to mix it up with the content. So yeah, feel free to throw anything in the comments here. I'm open to feedback and suggestions. Always trying to make my streams better. <laughs> I don't know if I like this little border I have on my stream, but I paid like $12 for it on Etsy. So I'm going to use it for a little bit. <laughs> All right. I am going to now move on to 
the shadow portion of all of this, but I do feel like then you can see like a little bit more like definition with the bronzer. I don't know if I like this. I think I need to go back with a little bit of my powder. I need this like too light, but it does give like a little bit of like a cleaner look. Yes, I am not great at multitasking, <laughs> most certainly, but we're working on it. I'm going to go in with my KVD eyeshadow primer here. Just put this all over my lid. I do try to remember to shake this primer because it, it is called the shake primer. So try to follow the instructions here. All right, and this is a palette I used earlier this week, but I forgot to use primer. So we'll see how the color payoff goes with primer. This is actually like the drugstore dupe version of an eyeshadow palette I used to have. So this is by Makeup Revolution, which basically they just make dupes of like <laughs> other makeup branded products. So um, I am going to go in with Let's see. I'm so sad. I'm about to make this brush so dirty, but I'm going to just, I'm going to go in with this color because this color is really catching my eye because it's so pretty. And I'm just going to put this on the outer part of my eye. Where am I going to, if that's okay to ask? I am going to go see the new Top Gun movie, actually. <laughs> so... Pretty hyped for that. I've heard good things, and I think I've watched part of the, like, original or, like, the first one they had, so. But I know kind of the basic premise of it. So, I do feel like these just have pretty good color payoff here, because I can already see it in my stream. It's, like, two feet away from me. But I am just going to put this on the outer part of my eye. Just give this a fun little color. I feel like this is like a nice, like, I don't know, like dusty rose color, I guess. It's like the best way to describe it. I don't really know. But just go in and put some of this on the other eye here. Am I sure that makeup's not gonna make me sweat? Well, I am gonna set it with some, with some uh, setting spray. So hopefully not, but. You know, I'm one of those people that has to do makeup every day. Like, <laughs> I don't know how I got to this point, but I do my makeup pretty much every day, especially if I'm going to see people. Like, I hate going out in public without it done, but that's just me. I'm just going to keep putting this color all over my lid here. It's actually a really pretty color. And I am going to go in and touch it up with a little bit of, like, a brow bone color also here so that it's not blended all the way up to my my eyebrows just put a little bit more on this side all right we're looking pretty good here pretty good i'm not mad at it i'm gonna go in with i guess like this white the one that's not sparkly this this one is like a little bit sparkly I'm going to just, wow, this is really bright. Um, I'm just going to try to blend the, my shadows down like a little bit so that they're not like all the way up to my eyebrow. But this is like a very bright white. This is a lot brighter than I thought. I don't know if you guys can tell from far away, but it's like a very bright white. So this was not exactly what I was expecting. I think I'm going to put a little bit of white from my... Tart toasted tartlet palette. Um, does it mess up? Does it mess your acne up, or is that um, heavy makeup stuff? Um, I feel like I do use pretty full coverage product, but um, thankfully, like as I've gotten older, my acne's gotten better. So I normally just have like a couple of spots here and there. So it's really not too bad for me. But I did used to use it more as like a cover up than like a, a beauty thing. So. All right, I'm gonna go back in with this color and just blend back up to where I was. Yeah, don't really like the white that's in this palette, but that's okay. 
We're working through it. All right, and I'm gonna put a little bit of this color under my eye. So sad, I worked so hard to clean my brushes. Now I'm getting them all stained with all these other colors, but gotta do it. Make sure I put this color just nicely under my eye. I feel like I'm doing one of those like, don't look makeup challenges because I'm so far away, but it's coming out pretty good so far, I feel like. All right, put a little bit of this under my eye here. But yeah, I'm just gonna darken this up so it's like a little bit darker on this eye. Then I'm just gonna go in and do like a quick little shimmer. So I'm gonna go in with, I guess we'll do like this pink shimmer. I think that will look nice. This whole palette is all like shimmer shades. I wish it had some like matte shades, but I guess that's why I have my other eyeshadow palette. So just going in and putting this shimmer shade all over my eye. OMG, I see your recent stream was on the pools, hot tubs, and beaches category. Uh, how did that go, if you can recall it? Uh, I don't know, I feel like it, it goes pretty well for me in that category, I don't know. <laughs> I do know it is like riskier to be like in a swimsuit on other channels, so just gotta make sure I'm not getting banned from Twitch. <laughs> I am trying to put a little bit of this color on the inside. I don't know if I love this eyeshadow palette, but it does have like some colors that I don't have in my other ones. It's just hard because these are all like shimmer shades. It's hard to make these work for like a look. I don't know. I guess I probably need to look up like looks that involve this palette and see what other people are doing and try to copy one of those. I'm just gonna blend the color back onto my lid here. All right, looks good. Yeah, I try to make sure my videos are categorized correctly, but I don't know, sometimes I just do like so much stuff in my streams, it's like kind of hard to pick like the most appropriate category, I guess. <laughs> all right, let me grab all of my stuff that I'm gonna use. And most of the admins are on there constantly due to the amount of trolls. Yeah, that <laughs> I could see that being a big problem. I'm going to go in with my eyeliner and try to draw a thin little line here. Actually, first I'm going to curl my lashes. Just a little bit here. Okay, and then I'm gonna try to draw like a thin little line. Usually the line ends up being not that thin. Yeah, that's okay. All right, that's looking pretty good, not bad. All right, I'm gonna call that good on the eyeliner line. I'm gonna go in with my Lash primer here. This one is the Pacifica Vegan Collagen Primer, which although I'm not a vegan, I'm really glad that brands do make more inclusive products that are vegan because a lot of makeup products are not like vegan or like they, a lot of them involve animal products, which is really interesting. So this is the weekend. Are you by chance gonna do a late night stretching stream? Uh, I stretched this morning on my stream, so I'm probably not going to stretch again tonight, um, but possibly tomorrow a stretch. I feel like I normally do like stretching streams like during the week because I'm not doing my makeup during the week. So then I kind of have something interesting to showcase during the week because <laughs> the makeup that I do for work every day is really not all that exciting. 
I'm gonna go in with my Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill little, little sample mascara. Which I feel like when I first used this mascara, I really liked it, but I don't know. Now I don't know if I would like invest in this mascara. Like it's good and I feel like it's cool to say like I'm using Giorgio Armani mascara, but I don't know if it's like truly superior to the one that I already use by Urban Decay, but it is it is pretty good. I'm gonna do my lower lashes. I'm gonna get in like a little bit closer here. Pardon the close up. But just make sure I can see what I'm doing because doing my lower lash mascara has definitely been how I like mess up my entire makeup look because I'll like smear the wand onto my face or something. But yeah, the way this does lower lashes, I don't love it. So I don't know. It's not as good as my other mascara, I guess, for that. Been on the game for the longest, so trying to find some streamers to follow along with their workout and stretch, etc. Yeah, since I've started stretching, I don't know, I feel like I'm doing something really good for my body. You know, it's like, wow. This is what we're all supposed to be doing. Plus, I just feel like how inflexible I am, and I'm like, yeah, I need to do this more regularly. Could only imagine what your makeup collection looks like. I actually don't have that much makeup, which is kind of funny, because I... I feel like I found my core products that I really like, so I don't actually have too much. Like, I basically just have, like, one foundation. I have, like, one powder. The only thing I have a lot of is eyeshadow palettes just because, for me, I'm like, oh, I need, like, an everyday palette. So I do have – I have four eyeshadow palettes, but really everything else I only have one of, which is kind of crazy. But – I don't know. I used to like have like a bunch of, oh, and mascaras. I have a bunch of mascaras because I've been getting like samples with purchases that I've made, but otherwise, all right, I need to get in a little bit, a little bit closer here to do my, my lower mascara. But honestly, like, it's not bad. Oh my gosh, I just got it on my shoulder, but the mascara is not bad. <laughs> all right. This is what I was worried I was going to do to my face. So, God, that was just my shoulder. All right. I am now going to, uh, let me do my MAC Prep and Prime for my lipstick, just so that we're ready when I do lipstick here. Oh, I'm glad you guys like my nails. Um, they're just, like, the basic, like, um... I don't know what this is called, but it kind of looks like a little French manicure. I have, I always get my nails done pretty much like this because when they grow out, then like it's not as obvious because I've had like this manicure on probably for like three or four weeks, probably close to almost four weeks um, because like you can't tell when it like grows out because the color's only at the top. Um, but I got these done like for my graduation that was like, like early mid May, so it's been a hot minute, but I'm glad you guys like them. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do my brows here a little bit. I'm gonna try to map them out because I feel like I've been having like a harder time with my eyebrows lately. So I'm trying to go from like the inner corner of my nose, to like the outer part of my eye. And then to the end of my eye here, the edge. I'm also trying to like match like the, the eyebrows that are already kind of on my face. I don't have much eyebrow, but going with my little Morphe pencil, just trying to make like a little something happen for me. But I typically go back with a Q-tip and clean it up when I have time because a little bit tricky. I used to have my eyebrows microbladed, which I might do again because it did give me like a nice like stencil for my brows, <laughs> which was nice. I do go through these pencils. I probably go through like one a month, so I'm glad they're only like six dollars. I used to use more expensive pencils, but honestly, like 
just going through them as fast as I do. Like I needed a more, a more budget friendly product. I think this is probably one of the cheaper like eyebrow pencils that you can buy at Ulta. This one's the Morphe. I think most of them are probably like more than six bucks, but you can use coupons on all that stuff on that side of Ulta. So works out pretty good. I think that that's the only place you can buy Morphe. Um, there is a Morphe store like at one of the malls that's close to me, but I think that's like a really specific thing to my area. Though I did visit Minnesota one time and I did go to the Mall of America and that was, I think, like, first when Rihanna's, like, Savage X Fenty line came out and they had, like, a Savage X Fenty store that was there. Um, and I was like, this is so cool. Like, I don't think this is anywhere else. So it was, like, um, it was a really cool experience there. So I don't know. Maybe, like, some malls, like, would have, like, a Morphe store, but for sure the only one I know that has it is the mall nearest to me if you watch the beginning of my stream you'll see me with no makeup <laughs> or if you watch my stream from this morning when I'm doing my skincare I have no makeup on because I didn't want to put this on and then sweat it off but if you I do have like the past broadcast available here and on YouTube so if you watch like uh like my broadcast from this morning um or like the beginning of this one you'll see me with no makeup like, it's not awful, but I just, I don't love it. Plus, I just like, I don't know, I like doing my makeup, so. Here we are. <laughs> All right, I'm going to touch this up a little bit more here. Wish I had more eyebrow, but didn't get that. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with my Morphe Palm Aid and try to fill this in. I do go in like a bit heavier towards like the back middle of my brow and I try to use like a lighter hand towards like the front portion just so it doesn't look super heavy with the color. But you can always use a Q-tip to clean it up. <laughs> I used to have like these special like makeup Q-tips where you'd like break one of the Q-tip like tips and then like it would have like a little like makeup remover formula that came out but it was got a little bit pricey and then you can only use like that one side of the Q-tip because you've broken the tip off the other one so kind of a bummer. But it was a cool product. They were just like a little bit pricey. And then I'm like, wow, well, I can only use half the Q-tip. All right. Brows are looking not bad. I am going to go in and just soften them a bit with this little spoolie brush just so they don't look like as harsh at the front of my brow just so it's a little bit softer this eye. That softer much quicker, but just soften up the front a little bit. I probably do need to put a little bit of color back on this one, but it's hard to tell because I'm far away, but I do, the front is a little bit lighter. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go in and use a little bit of my NYX Control Freak. Um, Brow freeze here just to keep all this product in place. All right, pretty good. I do wipe this off just because I want to keep this brow gel clear. And I am going to go in with my Hourglass Veil Soft Focus Setting Spray. But I'm glad I'm glad you guys still think I look nice without my face done. Because some of my streams, I don't have my face done or I don't touch it up too much. So I'm glad you guys like that. I'm going to go in and fan it a little bit. My forehead's looking very shiny. I don't know if I love this eyeshadow palette. Like, I do feel like it looks a little bit, I don't know. The color doesn't look blended that well. But it did have some colors that I needed to do, like, a little bit of a darker look. So I bought it, but I don't know. 
don't I think I would probably only use it for like a darker look if I was doing that because I don't I don't know I don't love it too much I mean it's okay but it also only has like shimmer shades which I do need some like matte shades to mix it up <laughs> we need a makeup channel point redeem I don't know what I would make it <laughs> Like, I don't know what people would, like, redeem during my, like, makeup thing. <laughs> but I'm going to go with my lipstick here. I'm going to go in with Lime Crime Sasha because I just found my, um, I just found this lipstick. Because I thought I had lost it for the longest time. I'm going to, I'm going to not talk for a sec so I don't mess this up. <laughs> I do try to follow my natural lip line as much as possible and then go in and add a little bit more as needed. I also try to smile and just kind of see like where I'm going to need a little bit more. So I want it to look good when I smile and also like when I'm just like relaxed also. So make sure the bottom's decently symmetrical. If you do, um, at least you'll know you have someone that wants to redeem it. <laughs> yeah, I just found the channel points somewhat recently. So I'm still trying to figure out what I want to put in there. All right, I'm messing this up a little bit. I'm trying to fix this. I think I need a little bit more lipstick, so it's either it's going to fix it or not turn out well for me. All right. It's looking pretty good. Pretty good. So, not mad at it. Just like a simple, a simple look. I could have like added lashes if I wanted to. Oh, why is my forehead like still so like sticky? Um, it's kind of weird. I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of powder because I don't know why I'm so like sticky. But okay, fix that a little bit. But this is. The finished look for today, just like a simple Saturday look. Yeah, feel free to give me some some point ideas. Um, I am gonna move this to like a little bit more natural lighting so you guys can see like the full the full look kind of in more like natural lighting. Oh yeah, okay. The lighting was like really good, like right here, but yeah, maybe I need to fix this cheek. I don't know why. One patch looks lighter than the other. I normally don't go back and fix my makeup, like, during the week. I just, I'm like, I don't know. That's good enough. It'll look fine on Zoom. But it's the weekend, so I do have, like, a little bit more time. To just kind of touch things up a little bit. But I am still wearing the same pants from my last stream. Um, but I'm going to wash my hands just to make sure I don't have makeup on them still. This top is from Brandy Melville. Um, I think they still sell, like, a similar top I think in like other colors um but I do have this little like matching well I don't know if it's like matching these are like different shades of blue but kind of matching things gifted sub VIP in the channel maybe become a mod for the channel I do have a mod I don't think my mod's on um but yeah I'm working on the VIP points I think I don't I don't have enough something i forget oh my mod is here <laughs> um yeah my mod's actually someone that i know in real life so because <laughs> i don't know if i like just like trust internet strangers to mod for me but thank you mod um 
I do. I, I like, there are a couple people that like, are just like my friends from like, um, like college that I've met or that just like, I've met like working, but like, I do that like follow me and like wanted to help me out and be mods for me. So <laughs> super grateful for that. Um, but yeah, I think I forget what the issue was with the, with the VIP. I think I don't have enough like followers or views or something, but I am pretty hyped because once I'm an affiliate for 60 days, I can have just like free like emotes for people to use. Um, cause right now I like can only have emotes for subscribers. So I'm probably going to like get someone on Fiverr. I'm going to like commission someone on Fiverr again to like make me more emotes. And then like the ones that were for my subscribers are going to become the free ones. And then the subscribers are going to have like cute new ones. So super hyped um for that but yeah that is the stream for today um oh I can't okay I have to look into all that there's just like so much like little different things like with um like <laughs> streaming like I just figured out how to do music but like I the stream I tried it on someone told me the music was way too loud so like I'm just trying to figure it out and I broke my mic the other day too so <laughs> We're working through it. And then when I tried to game the other day, I, like, could not figure out how to, like, plug my mic back in. I forgot I had to, like, plug it into the remote. So, because <laughs> um, I was, like, plugging into the computer and I was, like, plugging into the Xbox. I'm like, why can't I hear anything? But, like, headphones get plugged into the Xbox remote. <laughs> um, so, I don't know. I'm working through it. There's just so much with streaming. It's kind of crazy, like, how much stuff's available for streamers. So, it's kind of fun. It's a little bit overwhelming, but thank you all for tuning in. Um, hopefully you have a wonderful rest of your Saturday. Um, I'm going to go watch a movie very shortly after this. So pretty hyped. And hopefully I, I have some other, some other fun, um, Saturday plans as well. Hopefully you all have some fun Saturday plans also. It's funny because I sit at the end of every stream and then I just like go and like stream again. <laughs> I'm like, well, here I am again, not having fun plans, just streaming. I guess those are fun plans too, technically. But anyway, have a good rest of your Saturday. I'm going to go have a good rest of my Saturday. Hopefully like per request, I will, I will do some more stretching. <laughs> um, probably, probably not today, but later on this weekend or this week I will. But yeah, thank you all for, for hanging out with me. Appreciate you all for being here.